Hello and welcome back. So we basically took Noel's soul um, and kind of got him to agree with us, uh, kind of forcefully, but not too too forcefully. Um, and then it basically led us on another quest in Luxarion to because of the saint or something along those lines. Um, I'm assuming that has to do with um, Vanille. So we are going to use our chronostasis because we have to keep this time frozen and we need to go all the way to the other end. Um, no idea really what I'm doing here exactly. But I think we need to climb up and out. And let's see here. Um, I actually wanted to check my quests real quick. Main quest, so... It's actually not listed here in the main quests. So I'm wondering if it's a side quest? No. It might be a main quest, just not updated. Not entirely sure. Either way, doesn't matter. Let's go. Uh, let's actually go the right way, so let's see, map, we do need to buy, so, that is the right way, okay. Um, we need to buy some more, and I believe there is a shop here somewhere. Because um, we, oh, and a quest too, cool. Hey look, it's the savior, I've been waiting for you. What, how did you? Come on Micah, you know I, Huh? Wait, you're not her. Ulrich, what do you think you're doing accosting strangers like that? <coughs> I'm sorry. Forgive him. My son mistook you for our dear Miss Micah. It must have been the hair. Hers was exactly the same color. Right. Easy mistake to make. Miss Micah is beloved by our god Benevelza. What with the rose-colored hair? Some even speculate that she could be the chosen one. The Savior. That's because Micah heard the voice of God. She told me. The Savior with rose-colored hair, huh? Yes. Dear Miss Micah. <coughs> she is a wonderful young woman. Always coming to the aid of the sick and ailing. Like myself. We've been waiting ages for her next visit. I thought you were her. Were you expecting her to come again soon? Uh-huh, and guess what else? She even promised us she would bring a phantom rose for us next time she came. It's a crimson-colored flower, very similar to a rose. But while everyone knows of it, no one's ever actually seen one. They're said to never wither or die. They maintain their life and beauty forever. A flower that never dies. It's no wonder no one's ever found one. <laughs> You're not easily fooled, are you? Yes, the Phantom Rose is nothing more than a fairy tale told to children. But this is what Micah said when she left. I'll bring you the legendary flower that no one believes can be found. So don't you give up on hope. Keep living. As you can see, I don't have much time left. But when she told me to go on living, I wanted to hold on, just so I wouldn't let her down. Fake savior lady! If you see the real Micah around, tell her that she better not forget her promise to me, okay? Ulrich, who taught you it was okay to be rude to others? Yeah, that guy was a little bit rude. So we'll accept the quest. Um, I'm not sure where we'll find Sorry, the rose, but that's fine. I'll tell her not to forget about your flower. Thanks. You're all, You're right, all right for a fake. fake. All right. So we're pretty much accepting all quests that we find, even though we really have no idea how to do most of them. Um, but that's all right. We'll figure it out eventually. Crashing waves. There we go. So we do need to go stock up on stuff because we are really low on pretty much everything. Fire away. So we're going to buy lots of potions. Oh, this is actually pretty decent too. Only buy one of those. Uh, what does a veil potion do? Eh. We're going to use 
now we need to find the cook. Which I think there might have been one on the other side. Rupiro? I'm sorry, miss. Not yet. Alright, you cannot help me. That's fine. I don't need your help. Just wanted some dinner. Oh well. No dinner for me. Okay, so. Let's try to get out of here. Oh god. Damn it. They ran into me. There we go. This should be easy. I do. Okay, so we got it. We need to also meld a bunch of stuff together as well. I think the running uh, is also hurting me a little bit because I end up running into monsters instead of being able to preemptively engage them. Which is probably us. Ooh, another quest over here. Hello, friend. Hey, little missy. How about a drink? Looks like you've already had enough for both of us. <laughs> Not by half. I'm just barely getting started here. You want to know why? Ask my dearly departed fiance. She left me standing there like a fool at the altar. Do you really blame her? Who wants to marry a drunkard? You got it all wrong, honey. I started drinking after she left me. Everything has gone downhill since then. You probably won't believe me when I tell you. But I used to command a whole legion of the Order's finest men. Those days, I was on top of the world. Nothing could bring me down. Then why did your fiancé leave you? You must have some idea. Not even the foggiest. Me and Filiana. We were so in love. Or so I thought. Then she disappeared and never came back. She disappeared out of the blue? Are you sure something didn't happen to her? You did look for her, didn't you? Of course I did! From the palace in Yuzna to the edge of the wildlands. I searched for decades, but I never even heard a whisper of Filiana. <laughs> and when I described her, no one had ever even seen her pass through! My Filiana was a looker. No one could have forgotten seeing her. We were the happiest two people could be. But then... I crashed down from heaven to hell. There's no salvation to be found in this world. No God or Savior to deliver us. And if there's no salvation, then there's no hope. Can you honestly tell me that I'm wrong? Show me. Show me where there's any hope in this place. What? You're gonna find my Filiana for me and prove me wrong? Okay, so... We will find her eventually, stumble upon her. Like I said, these quests don't really give you, there's no markers or anything telling you where to do them except for the main ones. If there's still hope in this world, it has to be found. You have to look for it. Ha! You're a tough chick with a good heart. Thanks for offering. That's good enough for me. I said I was willing to try, and I meant it. Where was the last place you saw what was certainly your better half? You're actually going to go find her? Filiana and I both lived in Yusnan back in those days. She was a fantastic cook. Her skills got her a job at a swanky restaurant where all the foodies went. Did you check out the restaurants in Yuznan? It's possible she's working in one. Oh, you don't get how desperate I was back then. I checked every lead I could get my hands on, but I found nothing. I'll go back and check them again. What? You will? You would do that for a stranger? I, I don't know what to say. Here. Take this with you. Matching rings. Seeing it just reminds me of her, but I don't have the courage to throw it away. Okay. So I have the lackey's rings. She probably just like abandoned him and um, just didn't want anything to do with him anymore. So again, chronostasis, because we're keeping this time frozen as much as possible. Um. Oh, I hate these things. Ugh, gar, 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 gar. So I have a little bit more. Um. Come on, hit me. There we go. Thanks for waiting. 
then we'll do some crashing waves because we really have no other choice. And more thunder. Should probably just deep protect too. Protect and thunder. Yeah, there we go. That should actually help out a bit. Oh ho ho ho! That was actually a big hit. You think you can be forgiven? There we go. Got it. So the deep protect actually helped quite a bit in that situation, which is great. Um, but even then, All right now this way. Going up this way. Alrighty. We're trying to keep time frozen, but we won't be able to do it for much, much longer, unfortunately. Um, so let's continue through here. Oh god. Come and get it. Alright. Wow, uh, crushing this does a lot with the deep protect on. Um, so deep protect and the thunder, 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 thunder. Then we'll attack. Oh, he dodged the jerk. Oh well, at least we still killed him. All right, so it's actually a much more effective way to kill them because uh, deep protect. Uh, makes my crashing waves move do quite a bit of damage, um, so that's good. Uh, so we have a little kid over here who I can talk to. So what does he have to say? Mew. Mew. Okay, so that was odd, but okay. Uh, we're gonna go to the sorcery shop, Bless combine me. some things. Um, we will actually sell a lot of our metals here because we do have a few. There we go. And then we will synthesize our abilities. So, um, Blizzard level 1 with all of these, why not? Okay, so that's max, that's good. So our light slash. Right now, hold on, we're going to take. I kind of want to sort them by. No, alright, whatever. Um. So we have our light slash that we have equipped, which is this one, and we're going to synthesize it with this one to make it stronger. And now it's maxed out as well, so we're not going to worry about that. These are already maxed. Um, an aurora plus another aurora, we're going to do that. Increases its damage significantly. Uh, same with the arrow. Alright, and we're going to do the arrow again brings it up to 60 damage, which is good, and it's maxed out as well. Uh, this blizzard, that one's already maxed, so we'll try to max out another one. There we go. Uh, we have more light slashes here. That one's maxed already, so we're not going to touch that one. Uh, but we're basically just trying to make all the other abilities better. Um, so those are already maxed. That maxed. That one's maxed already, so we're not going to touch that. Uh, light slash, that one's maxed. And those are all maxed. Okay, so we don't need to worry about those anymore. Um, looks good. Alright, uh, schematalist. Alright, nothing to do here. Alright, let's talk to you. What do you have for sale? A liberator. Huh. See, this one is a... Huh. It's a little expensive. But... Huh. 
I already own the Liberator. Oh, okay, so I don't need to buy those. Okay, so we're good. We already own some of those, oh, so we're not going to do that. Um, I can't remember which direction. I think I'm going to go south. We're going to just kill this little thing here real quick, because why not? We'll just thunder it to death. There we go. So that was... Oh, and I got an arrow. Uh... A rare arrow, so that was pretty good. Um, so we're gonna go in and around this way. We don't care about the inn, we don't care about the resident, don't care about the merchant, can't talk to you. So we will continue on our merry way. Again, we have to freeze time again. Because it's important to keep time frozen as much as possible. So that we can actually make progress on these quests because time. Ooh, the chaos. Stronger enemies in here, maybe? Well, you get better rewards apparently for fighting them in the chaos, but I'm not entirely sure how the chaos works. There we go. They're apparently supposed to be stronger in the chaos, too. But you're supposed to get way better. Oh, look at that. Just got a whole one EP for that. Ridiculous. Triple the gold and double the items. Um. Alright. Alright, time for this. Evil has a price. There we go. Killed it. Is it still in the chaos? No, it's not. So I messed that up. But I did get a poison, which I didn't have that before. So I wonder how I stay in the chaos. Where was it? It was back. Mm. All right, whatever. That's okay. I'm not sure how the chaos sections work. Well, that's all right. It's not a big deal. We got our gauge up a little bit just from that, so that was worth it. Um, because there's chaos here, but I'm not. Good, I'm we'll always prevail. There we go, dead. This should be easy. So the waves are pretty strong, from what I can tell. Probably the strongest move I have in my arsenal at the moment, so... I mean, the heavy thrust is pretty good too, but it's not as good. sure how to maintain the chaos or was it because I picked up one of the shards I'm not entirely certain but either way we are going to talk to Aramia right you now so it is a side quest troubled. yes it's true I am but I don't know that it's something I feel comfortable discussing with a stranger fine I wouldn't want to force you to talk my oh you are a rather frank one aren't you miss it's not that I've been sworn to silence or anything quite the opposite I feel like I've got to tell someone. Let me start from the beginning. I am Aramaya, one of the blessed members of the Order tasked with looking after Lady Vanille. Did you say Vanille? Yes, our Lady Vanille. 
The one and only holy saint who has been gifted with the mysterious ability to hear the cries of the dead that are carried on the winds of chaos. Vanille, the saint? Yes. Well, the fact is that the Holy One is particularly attached to one particular belonging. A small stone that she always carries. I'm guessing it's no regular piece of rock. You're quite right. It seems like something very special. It reflects the light with a rainbow iridescence. But several days ago, that very stone was stolen by some reprehensible thief. Ever since its disappearance, the poor saint has hardly said a word. She's completely withdrawn. She can't find the thief? Find the thief? The Holy Saint? She cannot leave the cathedral. It is completely out of the question. I see. So you keep your precious saint locked up like some sort of criminal or animal. Uh, uh, you say too much. Well, the, the only reason the saint is kept within the cathedral is for her own safety and protection. She can't be trusted with herself? <sighs> yes, that's it, exactly. If what you say is true, and she never leaves the Cathedral, then only other Order members could have gotten to her. Y you're suggesting that a member of the Order stole the Saint's precious belonging? You could not be more wrong. It's impossible. Then you admit others into the Cathedral to see your Saint, do you? There is an outfit which is allowed to enter to make their deliveries, but... Their staff always go through a thorough inspection. They couldn't even sneak out a pebble if they tried. There's an exception to every rule. Where do I find them? I, I wish I could tell you, but I don't know. I think they work out of the warehouse district. Okay, so it looks like we gotta go to the warehouse district and get a crystal shard. Probably from her summoning her Hetairos thingy. The warehouse district, uh -huh. huh? I don't know how far I'll get, but at least I can give it a shot. Oh, you are far too kind. Just knowing that there are such generous soul searching will surely put the saint at ease. Alright, so we accepted that quest because we can't actually get into that area yet. So let's look at the map for the warehouse district. Um, that's all the way up there. Okay. Um, I actually remember there being a dog. I just don't remember if it was here or up more, but since there's this little side room here, I'm going to check now, uh, just in case. Although I do need to go to a restaurant. Oh god. Um, Say your prayers. There we go. So we need to freeze time again, because we can't let time go rampant. Constantly freezing time. Just because I am paranoid. There it is. Oh, you can see I'm not just any old cat. Since you seem to have half a brain, might I ask a favor? It won't be too much of a bother, I promise. Um, it doesn't really tell me what I'm supposed to do, but I'll accept anyway. Because, you know, it's a quest. Call me cynical, but I don't believe cats can talk. I'll help you out, but only if you tell me who you really are. I knew you were clever. Yes, I'm no cat. At least not on the inside. This is where you tell me about some bizarre episode that put your soul into a cat's body. Exactly. You're good. Of all the possibilities, why a cat? Oh, let me start from the beginning. This body that I'm in, the most beautiful cat in the world, she was my precious little baby. Obviously, I named her Jem because she was my treasure. She was everything to me, but she got sick and passed away. I had a difficult time dealing with her death. I couldn't accept it. I shied away from reality. I did everything I could to preserve Jim's body while I desperately searched for a way to bring her back. Science, voodoo, alchemy, you name it. I tried everything you could ever imagine. I spent years, no, decades, performing experiments to bring her back. I'm not one to judge, but the love you have for your cat is more than a little frightening. She was my life, but nothing worked. I couldn't revive her. I'd run out of ideas. I was devastated. I had just about given up on life, everything, when God decided to throw me a bone. A little girl approached me, 
She called herself Lumina. Lumina? This ought to be good. What happened? I thought this little angel had been sent from the heavens when she handed me a potion, and said it had the power to lend Jem my soul. According to her explanation, if I drank the potion, I could revive her. Of course, I drank the entire bottle without hesitation. Didn't anyone ever tell you not to drink strange potions? Especially ones given to you free of charge by people you just met on the street. But this stranger told the truth. Jim was revived. See? Alive as ever. However, I wasn't prepared for these side effects. This wasn't what I had in mind. And that's where I come in, isn't it? Yes! Lumina mentioned there was an antidote that can reverse the effects of the potion. With it, things can go back to the way they were. It's called Starlet Spice. Please, will you find some of it and wave it under my nose? I assume you're talking about your human body, so it's still intact somewhere? Do you recall where? When dawn approaches, you'll find it wandering aimlessly near a large assembly of cats. You can tell from a single glance that it lacks any sort of soul. My name, my real name, is Ronan. I don't know if my body will respond to that, though. Okay, that's a really odd quest. Um, so we're going to continue. I don't even remember what we were doing. Oh yeah, we're going to the warehouse district. Judgment has been delivered. Okay, warehouse district, here we come. Uh, as we kill a bunch of stuff on our way to... There we go, we got some sort of Not crystal too. What do we get? What do we get? Thunder level 1. Nothing too, too important. Um, Alright, let's see here. I still haven't found the quest for the red orbs like this one here. Oh, I should pinpoint this one. Um, Alright, let's pinpoint this one. Map. Uh, place. Marker. Red one. Alright, so we know where two of them are now. Okay, so when we do find the quest for them, it should be a little easier because we know where two of them are. Um, we're gonna go eat some food. Uh, no, 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 no. Traveler, no. are you searching for a place to stay the night? Here we go. Step right up, buddy. I will have a right rolling berry. Thank you. Okay, so now let's continue on into the warehouse district, which is this way. Now that we are at full health, we are good. We are good. As we do somersaults and whatnot. Uh, let's see here the map real quick. So we do have to go up this way. Alright. Oh god, no! Freeze time again! Chronostasis! Armor being in this area. This is where I fought that one dragon thing that I thought I would lose to. But I didn't, so it was all good. big deal. Okay. Oh, here's another one. Okay, so we are going to mark this one on the map too. Um, damn it. Map. Place a new marker here with the red. Alright, there we go. Uh, informative man, do you have anything to say? That is to say. Okay, whatever. Um. I wonder if 
Or even was a can I talk to you? No, I can't. It was the informative man that I was talking to. Oh, there's someone here to talk to, though. There's a chance. What's the story with the box? Well, it was given to us by a customer, but they must have forgotten to address it. Why don't you just give it back to that customer? Well, that's where things get a bit sticky, you see. One of our new lads handled the package. Said some bigwig from the cathedral gave it to him. Asked if we could hold it for a while. From the cathedral, huh? Let me guess. That bigwig is tied to the saint somehow, aren't they? How'd you know that? That's amazing. The new lad was delivering packages to the saint's quarters when he met this person. Never even got their name or anything. <sighs> We've really stuck our foot in it now. The Order is one of our biggest customers. We can't go back and admit we took a package from someone there without checking it. I may be able to help you out. I'm looking for something that was taken from the Cathedral. I'd like to check that box. If it's there, I'll return it myself. I'll take full responsibility for it. I'd love to let you take a look, but I haven't been able to get it open. I'm thinking it's gonna have to be smashed open at this rate. <laughs> Fine, I can handle that. Wait, what? Yep. Hold on, seriously? You're kidding, right? No, not really. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna smash open the boxes. I only learned how to do that maybe a couple hours ago, so... Should be fine. There we go. Put it away. Put the weapon away, lightning. There we go. Crystal shard. Quest complete though. A stone with a rainbow sheen. This has to be the stone that Aramiah was talking about. The it one has stolen to be, from the Neil. So it wasn't stolen by an outsider, but taken from within the order. That's mm. worrisome. Worrisome indeed. Could there be someone within the order with a grudge against Vanille? Maybe I should mm. talk to that woman from the order again, Aramiah. She might be able to answer some questions. Maybe. Alright. So we'll stop there for now. So thanks for watching.